I'm here with Enzo for an interview. Um, Gentlemates are very loud. <laughs> yeah, just like in Ascension Finals, I remember. All right. Um, first of all, tell, tell me how you feel to be back, right? EMEA, you've gone through this whole journey, mm -hmm. but you're here. How does it feel? A lot of joy, really. Mm -hmm. A lot of joy because I've been waiting for this for a year now. Um, and I feel like I am back where I belong. Um, last year, was incredibly important for me because I developed as a player, mm -hmm. I developed as a leader, mm -hmm. uh, I got better in every department that a, a player can work on, nice. absolutely all of them. And now I have uh, the opportunity with an amazing team to uh, build something uh, for greatness, so I'm actually super happy. The, the, the main feeling is joy, honestly I'm so happy to be here, I'm so happy to play, to be on stage, and yeah, it, I mean, I don't know if you realize, but yeah. A year and a half ago, or I don't know when, after Fnatic, basically, um, yeah, it was a bit hard for me at the time. And uh, and then I had a great year uh, with Apex that uh, led me to here, and I think here is the most important moment for me, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So I asked this question to Mystic as well, but if you could go back in time and talk to <coughs> Enzo about to f face his first competitors in Polaris, um, is there anything you would say to Enzo back then? Maybe advice of some sort? Um, make sure you play better on Pearl against uh, human tripwires. Who was it that we, lo we lost? Yeah, yeah human tripwires. We lost I, to them, yeah? I think you just went to, to overtime. I think you actually ended up winning. You nearly we, lost. So first game, human tripwires we won, but yeah. we lost a game to uh, LPB. LPB, I think ah, Pearl, right. Pearl was a key map yeah, of that okay. loss. Play better on Pearl <laughs> against LPB. So you can have a nice green win streak. Yeah. And finals, then you could finals, say you can lose. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but this game against LPB, make sure you have that um, 30 win streak. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Is that also like um, advice to this current Apex roster? I mean, Pearl is no longer in, in, on the <laughs> Apex roster. Try to get more 30 nos than we got. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. They're doing great. Right? All right. Well, they're already two 13 O's in. Yeah. I you believe. need a few more though. Yeah. A few more. A few more, yeah. and they'll get there. All right, awesome. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Danito, <coughs> yeah. right? Uh, he is now jumping into the head coach mm -hmm. of Apex. You've worked with him an entire year. What signs did he bring last year? What signs did he show that would make him a good head coach coming into this year? So the way we worked with Danny uh, last year is that he was kind of our reminder uh, guy. So whatever we do on a map, whatever... Um, uh, habits we have, mm -hmm. protocols we have, he's going to be reminding us every day. And that's, you need that in a yeah. team. He's going to be reminding us, don't forget to do this well, uh, the goal is to do this and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so he was, he was doing that a lot as an assistant coach, right? And he was doing it pretty well, honestly. So I know that this year, with more responsibilities as well, I'm sure he's going he's gonna to do super good, you know? Yeah. Like, honestly, he's going to do super good. Um, and right now it's showing in-game as well. Yeah, that's it. Cool. I'm so awesome. I, I'm actually happy for Danny to be head coach. I think he's head, head coach of a great team, yeah. and and he can do great. Yeah. Cool. Any key advice you remember him giving you, or any moment that you feel impacted you? Uh, the moment they impacted me was also with Ito Pata, mm -hmm. both of them together, okay. and uh, the way they reminded me of some calling aspects that made me improve as an IGL. Both of them. Okay. Uh, mostly Ito Pata, but Danny was always next to him there and ready to remind me of some stuff that I have, I have to do, right? Cool. Th that's the thing for me, I think. Do the job? Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, final question here. Mm -hmm. Last year was very different for you in regards that you had to build a project from scratch. Yep. Now you've got a core of what you built last year, but you're also jumping in with a different coach, with some different ideologies, some players with big history behind them, yep. like you've got world champs. How did that process of building a team differ this year from the last? Well, now you, compared to last year, you have pre-existing stuff. Yeah. So we have a trio from Apex, and we have a trio from Liquid, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, what you do is you go tabula rasa, you start from zero. Yeah. You work on the basics, you work on the communication, you work on the fundamentals, you start building the game plan, and you pick all the good things from both and mm -hmm. all the good things from Liquid, from Nuts, from Yampi, from Emil, yeah. from Bacon, from everyone. Yeah. All the good things from Apex, everything that I did uh, pretty well, uh, everything that they did pretty well, uh, everything, uh, whether, whether it's in-game or outside. And you mix, and you shake, and you cook, and it becomes something nice. 
Okay. And so far, cool. I think we are doing good. It's looking like great, and our basics for a start of the year, they're looking good at least. Nice. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's uh, you take everything good, and you cook.